Thank you very much, first of all, for uh, letting us into your home okay. and letting us Thank film you the follow-up. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about how you were beforehand again, just to remind everybody about why they put you forward for this particular procedure. Um, what were the reasons? Okay. Well, in, in the last few months before the procedure, uh, I was becoming very breathless. If I did anything at all, you know, if I had a shower, I'd come out of the shower puffing. Um, and so the idea, obviously, it was just, it was getting pro progressively worse. Uh, so this was the idea was just to halt and the thing there, close the valve up, uh, get the breathing going easier. It's a breathing that I wasn't in particularly terrible pain of any kind. It was just causing me shortage of breath. Okay, and um, did they explain to you what they felt the success rates were, or what their experience was in the past with this procedure? They did. The professor did say to me it was a, a 5% chance of failure, uh, which he then said was 1 in 20, just to impress me. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously you go ahead with these things and, uh, you know, it was fine. I was quite happy to have the chance. Obviously, if I do nothing, I don't get any better. I can only get worse. Mm. So I took the chance on the operation. Compared to how you were before, how would you say your symptoms have changed, and particularly, obviously, uh, your breathing? Well, originally, just after the operation, it got worse rather than better. Just It, it, you know, it may be because the heart had that time to recover or something. And then it, it did sort of improve, but it, it never got any better than it was before I had the operation. Mm -hmm. And of late, in the last, probably the last few weeks, and we're now about like two to three months after the operation. Uh, I'm becoming more tired more easily now. It's, it's, uh, and I'm assuming this has got to be a side effect, not the operation, but of what's wrong with the heart. So, um, yes, it, it, it's, I don't think anything better has come of it, because the thing obviously didn't work properly. Um, but that's it, but I'm, you know, I'm pleased to have had it. Um, it's something worth trying. If something else comes up, then I'll try that as well. And how do, how much do you remember of having it done? Um, how much do you remember of the whole thing? What the actual operation? The actual the whole the whole business of going in and coming out. Of oh no! I've, I've, to be honest, I, I've I mean I've had a couple of I've had a double bypass, a quadruple bypass, I've had hip replacements, I had a tumour taken away on it. So I'm sort of used to hospitals, and it, it doesn't go into a a haze at all. I'm always aware of what's going on, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I was fully aware, well, apart from fortunately, when they were doing the operation, I'm very pleased to be out of it. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's something that I'm, I'm fine with. And what did they tell you about what happened during the procedure and um, how it had gone? Well, they told me that it, it was only, a, uh, only been completed partially. Um, the, the idea was to drop two of these clips into the valve and thereby closing the gap at the top when it came out so it wouldn't be throwing out all the blood, the reflux in the blood that was, was happening previously. But apparently when the first clip was dropped in it wasn't quite in the right place um, and it became a danger to put another one in. Uh, the surgeons apparently, I was told, said that if they wouldn't take the risk if they put another one in and it didn't go in properly, then the valve wouldn't work at all, and that's probably the end of it. So they stopped there. Um, it hasn't. I don't think it's made me any worse, um, and I don't think it's given me any improvement. Personally, I think I'm, I'm sort of exactly as I would have been had it not been done at all. You've had quite a bit of experience with going mm. in and out of hospitals and everything. Is there anything you may suggest to people who may be put forward for it? If it's, if it's something that you need to happen, then you have to go ahead and do it. It's not a... Lots of people say to people who have operations, oh, you're very brave, but you're not brave at all. You don't have a choice. If you do nothing, you can only get worse. So you go for it. And then, over the years, because I mean, I had my first bypasses when I was 33. That's a long time ago. And I've always just decided to lead my life as it was. I had a very bad road accident which is why I've got a metal hip and whatever. And uh, since I've come out of hospital, 
I've actually booked two holidays. I'm going to Nice at the end of this month when the Grand Prix is on in Monaco and then I'm going to Cyprus next month. Um, it's just, you know, use what you've got, use your life. And that's the way I intend to continue it. And uh, what are they planning on doing now? I know that you have a couple of tests booked, yeah. uh, but is there any idea of what they're going to do with the tests or is that sort of, you know, they'll depend on the results, etc.? I think, yes. I mean, I'm having a test next Thursday, um, a, a stress echocardiogram, and I'm seeing the professor the following Monday to that. So he'll take a look at the results. I don't really think there's a great deal more they can do with what's there. I mean, the valve is obviously faulty. They've tried the angioplasty three times over the years, starting 20 plus years ago. And, and uh, twice they tried in the last four or five years. Because um, the graphs that I have, I had six graphs, only one of which is working. Uh, so I, I can't see that they're going to really do something else, except medicine moves along so quickly now. You know, who knows? This time next year, they may be doing some new procedure, in which case if, if it has a chance of working, I'll have it. And you have clearly still a tremendous amount of confidence with the team. Yes, I don't think it's, it's one of those things, I mean you're, you're given the percentages and can it go wrong, can it go right, is it going to be perfect. Um, nobody deliberately fails, so it's obviously just one of those things that can happen. Um, I'm grateful for them for trying it, you know, and uh, as I say, I mean there's no I don't hold any thing against anybody. They tried their best. These are top professional guys. Uh, thank you very much to them for giving it a go. And if there is something that comes up, I mean, when I saw the professor last time, he said there were other things, you know, new things coming on the scene. But obviously, well, we won't see. Thank you very much.